Well, I got a private message from one of our members at F10, Munich Joe. I'm assuming Joe is from Munich, Germany. Yeah, I know. That's brilliant detective work there, isn't it? He uh, had a question for me. Can I do something with a Slava 2427? Basically, it's a 28 series uh, with an auto winder. And the only one I have is this guy right here. This was one of the very first that I ever took apart and tinkered with a few years ago. You can see by the writing it is fairly new. It's not Soviet era, but it's old enough. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. I'm not sure how well it runs being the first time I ever opened up one of these was three years ago. 27 joule. Um, after you get the auto binder apart, everything else is pretty much the same in regards to the 28 series um, and this one is running right now and with these you can't let the mainspring down until you get the auto winder apart um, to give you an idea that auto winder like many of them will um, wind in either direction no matter how you rotate that rotor you can see this winder right here it will go in the same direction and wind those two main spring barrels um, and when you wind this by let me take that back out of the move when you wind this through the stem you'll notice the auto winder uh, winds with it parts of them and if you look at this winding gear here, it's got a clutch. It overruns. I guess they call that an over... You can see it turning right there. It's an overrunning clutch. It's just slipping through that one-way gear. Uh, so that's a demonstration on how that works. So I'm going to do this just to show how this comes apart and how to put it together. It's, it's relatively simple, I think, as far as I remember. Um, obviously the first thing we're gonna do is take that rotor off and it's got a little a little tab in here held on by a screw so that's that's the first thing we're gonna attack here is let's get that screw out uh, the one thing I'm gonna do this is a clean movement that I did a few years ago I don't want to put any fingerprints and oils on it so let's put some the nitro gloves. I always like them. They work great. Okay. I'm going to keep that rotor from turning and just unscrew that um, I guess you call it a keeper. Rotor keeper. I don't know what it's called. And I'm out of parts trays because I got so many parts apart or movements apart right now so I'm going to just drop these into a clean petri dish that I lifted from the lab so petri dishes are nice they hold parts and you can put a lid on it keep the dust out and if you notice that that uh, keeper is kind of like like a keyhole It'll, it'll slip into there and that screw holds it in and you just kind of push it to the side a little bit like that and it should lift off should maybe I need to put a little inf get a little influencing on it Maybe that needs to be pushed. I think what happened, it's been a while. Like I said, I haven't done these in a long time. Let's get a better shot of that. I think it's got to go, it's like a snapped in fit. We have to push that over. There you go. You saw what happened there. Now it can be lifted off. 
and you can see that keyhole one bore is larger than the other so you chop it in and then snap it shut lock it in with the screw after that your winder rotor should lift off okay and it does here's the back side of that fairly small winding gear not that it has to be any particular size but that's the first step in getting all this apart uh, we have a mounting screw over here and one over here we're going to take take that bridge off next into our petri dish no we're not going to see if it's got any bacteria growing in it there's no media in there just a just a bare petri dish okay now because we can't let that mainspring down because of these winders there's there's tension throughout there's tension through these gears and I think uh, once we release some of that tension then the click will keep everything from unwinding then we can unwind the main springs I'm gonna come in here release that a little bit and you notice it kind of rotated around that was some of that tension through the mainspring through the auto winding gears and you want to you want to hold on to that and if you look at your click now it is fully engaged in the mainsprings so here's our main our winding bridge let's turn that over there's our two one way um, these these allow rotation with one way clutches on both of those and very similar to the Vostok this pin will be the pivot for that gear pretty much the same thing but different how's that same but different it's it accomplishes the same thing it allows this to wind everything up okay here is one of the winding gears pinion which connects to the main barrel right here and that does a lot that does the winding through and then uh, coming from this gear right here and I believe that one sat right there let's let's bring that bridge back over and we'll show you where that was sitting we're gonna turn that over Okay. That winder will sit like that. We got a thing walking around, sitting on those gears. So here you have your your auto winder assembly, and this this assembly will be put together in such such a manner like this, and then I believe that pivot pin right there engages this jewel I believe I'm not sure but this this will be assembled that way and a little bit of grease on that pivot will hold that in place there's our auto winder and from here everything is the same as far as taking this apart whether it's a 2724 or 2714 the this intermediate bridge right here there's a mounting screw here and a mounting screw here but this screw is shared with that auto winder so you don't have to worry about um, hey where's that screw it's part of that auto winder uh, bridge and from here everything else is identical to a 24 or 2824 or 2814 and now that we have it in this position 
we can uh, now we have the auto winder off we can let that main spring down main springs I'm just letting that slip through my fingers and there you have it uh, fairly simple um, what's nice about these is it is simple it's a simple design just like the Vostok 24 series they uh, the auto winder is just it, it just does what it does and that's all there is to it so I will uh, close this out and next one we'll just put this right back together and uh, might seem an int intimidating at first but it's not very simple so talk to you then